good day guys welcome back guys welcome back to today's lesson on etabs in today's lesson we are going to be talking about share reinforcement so we can see the 3d of the structure so let's go to the story 4 click ok now you can see the configuration and the scheming of story 4 you can see it's similar to story 3 and it's also similar to story 2 but different from story 1 because there's a floating columns this column is floating from the first floor okay so now let's go back to the first floor and we can see the longitudinal reinforcement on the beam then we can also see other things like okay longitudinal reinforcing this is it then you can see the re rebar percentage this is this the rebar percentage if you wish to then you can see the shear reinforcing so you can see it. so we can see that at this point now we have 681.12 and 501 where the shear is major is lesser at this point at the center so because once we look at the bend the, the shear force diagram which will be this shear force choose your ultimate load combination shear to to apply so you can see the shear is almost zero at this side but where we have floating column here you can see the shear force diagram okay so let's go back to what we're doing display yes so share reinforcing so we can see this value now we have 681.12 now let's choose torsional reinforcing so apply so we have this plus five and let's see what share and torsional reinforcing will give us okay so you can see 691.7 so it has added the shear plus the torsion so we'll be using this to design for the shear so what we'll just do now is select this beam also you can right click on it and you can see where the worst condi um, condition is, is at 5.7 from this point so you click details and zoom to, let's zoom to 150 so open now let's check for the share the area of still provided 501.21 and for torsion so it's providing us with about two so it's telling us to provide about maybe 503 or 505 so let's see what it's suggesting for us here okay so you can see it 505.16 plus all other factors so what we are going to do now is we are going to use an excel sheet to provide for the shear okay so we are going to use excel to get the diameter of band the spacing required because it have just provided us with the area of steel required so what we'll do is open our excel open the excel then uh, let's give a name we want so let's say first column is bar diameter bar dia then the next one we want is number of legs number of legs okay so i'll be explaining what that number of legs is okay so the number of legs let me draw what the steel rope looks like we have this as our steel rope then we have um, this as the breadth and this as the depth. So we have two legs, leg number one and leg number two. So this, it means for this case, we have two legs of stirrup. So what we'll do is go back here and then fill this. Okay, sorry. So the first one we have is the bar diameter. You put um, 10, we are using 10 mm bar. Then the number of legs for this particular beam is two. So the area for this is going to be equals 22 uh, let me put it in bracket to make it easy for me 22 over 7 okay that is pi then asterisk we have our d this uh raised to power 2 d square so everything over 4 so this is the area of this is the area for this bar diameter now in this case we have two legs so total area total area we have two legs so that will be equals this asterisk this so this is exactly what we need per leg this is the area we need per leg now going back to e tabs it has given us the area of this per 1000 millimeter that is per meter so we have this already so let me give a name here area of steel required 
Okay. So area of C required provided by E tabs. We have a value of uh, let's use this one 691.76. So you can say 692. Okay, so 692. Yes, we have that. Now so we want to get the spacing. So to get the spacing, the formula will be equals this times 1000 okay divided by this so that's the spacing required so we need 227 so approximately we can use 225 center to center so in this case let me bold in it so that we can see it so for this particular beam i i can decide to use y10 at 225 at center to center so this one is okay but now you see some cases where this is greater than 1000 so for example let's just assume we have a value of area of c required 1000 okay so you can see approximately we need a spacing of 150 center to center so you know that but well, let's see if you have a value greater than 1000 which i can see in some beams like this this is about 1234 this is also about 1000 so let me look for the largest the largest is 1234 so let's see 1235 so let's see what it says so 1235 1235 and click it so you can see you need a spacing of 125 center to center now let's look at it this way if i decide to use more than two legs let's see the effects so let's say i decide to use four legs so using a syrup y10 that is with two four legs something like this extra um like this okay into this so i have four legs like this so i'm going to need two 10 members at 250 center to center so that is how syrup is being provided on it tabs so thank you for watching today's video on e tabs if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section